Hey guys, I actually did not plan on filming this video. And I'm outside, so if you can hear outside things like cars or ATVs or the wind, that is why I'm outside. So I started a project and I figured I would bring you guys along with me. So another hobby of mine that I have, I guess you could say, is gardening. And I'm not a good gardener. Um, and I have a half green thumb. It's like a pale green. I barely keep them alive. If it wasn't for the rain, if it wasn't for the good weather we have in Maine, they would probably all die. Um, but one of the things I like to do is I love to uh, make flower arrangements, like in pots and stuff. And so one of the things I want to show you guys is that you can go to Walmart and get some nice looking flowers. Now, I will admit that my Walmart was a little sad. A lot of the flowers needed to be watered. In fact, most of the flowers needed to be watered. And this pot might be a little kind of boring for you guys because I went with the theme and I don't have a lot of flowers in here. So, but, oh well, I wanted to make a video and show you guys because why not? So the first thing, I already put some flowers in before I decided that I was gonna film this. And then I was like, hey, I'm gonna film this. Let me go get my camera. So I already put in, they're called a dra Dracaena Spike. I am not sure how to pronounce that. But it can grow up to 18 to 36 inches tall and it can go about 10 inches wide, which is perfect for this uh, little arrangement that I have going. And so I'll show you that. So don't mind my horribly cluttered picnic table, but uh, this is that plant. It is a beautiful little spiky plant. Don't mind my husband over there. <laughs> he is be doing fishing things, preparing for fishing things. But it's this little beautiful like grass spiky thing. So the next thing I'm going to be putting in are these beautiful white pansies. I think that's what they're called. Petunias, not pansies. Pansies are those other ones. What was I thinking? Petunias. Beautiful white petunias. And then I will also be doing these white alyssums. So this whole thing is going to be white except for this grass. And I am pretty excited because I love white flowers. They're probably my favorite. White and red are my favorite. I actually, I have another pot. Oh, don't mind the dirt under my nails, you guys. I have another pot that I'm making. It's going to be a hanging one that has red flowers in it. But this is the pot that I'm doing right now. So let me set you guys up on my little tripod. And I will get started planting these. I don't always get all the dirt that comes with these because I already have dirt in my pot so I tend to just pull them out and kind of shake off the extra dirt so just their roots are exposed kind of just pat it off and this is just the ground below me a little bit of extra dirt will not hurt this ground take this one out because even though it has some flowers on it I'm an instant gratification type of person and I have enough 
um, ones that have flowers on it to put in this pot and I can put that one in another pot. Maybe I'll put it in the pot with my red flowers and then that way I'll have So now the next thing I'm going to do is put these alyssums in it. Now I'm not going to put all of these in it, but I'm probably going to put a good majority of these in it. I love these little flowers. They spread like crazy, so I'm not going to fill them completely in because they will fill themselves in, but I'm probably going to put them about every couple of inches. They say that they can go up to 12 inches wide, which is 100% accurate. These little things spread like crazy. But I love them because they're just so dainty and cute. And you guys literally just saw me like <laughs> flick all kinds of dirt all over the place. I just love this little arrangement. It's just so, so beautiful, you guys. It's just got these beautiful white flowers. It's a little buggy, you guys. It's that time of year, unfortunately, where it's buggy and nasty and everything wants to eat you. That's what time of year it is. So now I will show you guys my beautiful arrangement. Like I said, it will all fill out and fill in this little, this pot. And hopefully the, if all goes as planned, the Elysiums, Elysiums, I don't even think I'm saying that right, to be honest. Alyssum, Alyssums, Alyssums. I don't know. Um, hopefully those will fill in and like droop down over the side of the pot. That is my plan, of course. So well, let me flip you around and this is my beautiful arrangement. As you guys can see, I have an extra like whole thing of these and I have like another one in the car. But I am making another pot, so we shall see. But like I said, ignore this stuff in the background. We've got this beautiful, I don't even remember what it's called, that beautiful Dracaena, Dracaena, Spike, I don't even know. But it's got that beautiful grass, and then it's got these petunias and this beautiful alyssum. So I will zoom you guys in. Like I said, Literally every single thing in this pot could honestly use some water. Walmart is not the greatest about watering their plants. I swear the employee that was there last year really cared, but it is still really, really early in the season. So they just might not care yet, to be honest. Like... To be honest, I'm going to have to keep an eye out on the frost, and if it gets any frost warnings, I'm going to have to bring this pot inside. I have done that. <laughs> I have, My husband laughs at me because I will go outside and gather all of my pots and bring them inside and set them right inside by the door. And I'm like, um, I spent too much time and money on those pots. I'm not letting them sit outside in the frost. So that is my Walmart gardening experience my walmart potting experience of my beautiful flowers like i said walmart has some nice stuff as long as you go to a walmart that cares and takes care of their flowers because but i will say on certain flowers like the pansies and uh 
not the pansies, the petunias, and some of the and some of the other flowers that reflower. Even if they're dead, get them anyways because you can totally bring them back to life with some love and some water. So that is my pot of beautiful flowers. That is my arrangement. So I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.